it is chapter 4 that is mathematical symbols we know that there are many symbols used in mathematics such as 0 1 2 3 4 they are called numerical symbols plus minus sign of multiplication sign of division are called process symbols equal greater than less than not equal greater or equal and so on they are called relation symbols first bracket second bracket or curly bracket third bracket are called bracket symbols x y z are letter symbols letter symbols are also called special symbols okay notice that we use mathematical symbols to present a letter's description in short and easy format okay that is 9 is greater than 6 it can be written 9 is greater than 6 okay i think it's clear to you let's try to understand the problem okay according to the question we have to express this sentence we have to express this sentence into mathematical sentence and we have to identify whether it is open sentence or a mathematical sentence okay so let's start in the question it is said that multiplying 9 by 7 equals 80 so according to the question we have write 9 into 7 equal 80 but we know that 9 into 7 equals 63 so definitely it is wrong and for this we should write this is a mathematical sentence and it is false okay now come to the second one here it is said that subtracting x from 42 equals 35 again subtracting x from 42 equals 35 so we have write 42 minus x 42 minus x equal 35 here 35 since there is a special symbols that is there is a letter symbols x there is a letter symbols symbol x so it is an open sentence and we should write this is an open sentence as it can be either true or false depending on the value of x for your convenience um repeating it this is an open sentence as it can be either true or false depending on the value of x let us try to understand this problem this problem has two parts first one a triangle has x sides and second one receiving 23 taka after paying 50 taka for x taka's item okay now come to the solution to solve first one we know that a triangle has three sides okay a triangle has three sides so x equal 3 now to solve the second one we have to subtract x from 50 we have to subtract x from 50 and 50 minus x equal 23 50 minus x equal 23 which implies that 50 minus 23 equal x because here 23 is with a positive sign so it should have negative sign here and x has a negative sign here so here it should be with a positive sign okay and 50 minus 23 equals 27 that is 27 equal x therefore x equal 27 and hence the answer is 27 let us try to solve this problem the problem is find the value of x that makes the following mathematical sentence true okay and it is given that x plus 9 equal 15 which implies x equal 15 minus 9 because here 9 is with a positive sign so here 9 should have the negative sign okay which else x equal 15 minus 9 equal 6 okay and hence the value of x is 6 okay now come to the next problem in the question it is given that twice x equal 22 okay so to find the value of x we have to divide 22 by 2 because here 2 is with a multi multiplication sign so we should divide 22 by 2 and hence we get x equal 11 therefore the value of x equal 11 and hence the answer is 11 okay now to the next problem 
the problem is x minus 4 divided by 6 equals 6 so to find the value of x minus 4 we have to multiply 6 with this 6 and hence x minus 4 equal 6 6 uh, 36 okay and so x equal 36 plus 4 because here 4 is with a negative sign so here 4 should have a positive sign okay and 36 plus 4 is 40 so the value of x is 40 and hence the answer is for students now i'm trying to explain the short questions okay listen carefully and try to understand number one 15 is an even number what kind of sentence is it okay we know that 15 is an odd number so definitely this sentence is a mathematical sentence and it is false the second one a is an even number what kind of sentence is it here a is a special symbol that is it is a letter symbol so for that it is an open sentence okay now come to the third one here 10 plus a equal 35 what is the value of a to find the value of a we have to subtract 10 from 35 that is 35 minus 10 equal 25 okay hence the answer is 25 students try to solve the other short question yourself and do your homework sincerely okay see you next time till then khuda hafiz